Hey, this is Matt Boomer from Brody Precision, and today we're going to be taking a look at a really common and easy to solve problem in Niagara, which is sending text messages, uh, mainly in the form of alarms, uh, to users. Instead of getting emails, a lot of people would like to get a text message instead uh, because everyone obviously has their phone with them at all times and texts normally bubble up to the top as opposed to emails. So uh, that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So like I said, the issue here that you run across is a customer comes to you and says, hey, I want to get notifications of alarms, but I want them through text instead of through email. So the previous answer to this problem, uh, which Niagara came up with or Tritium came up with, uh, was that you had to buy a modem, you had to interface it with your Jace, and your modem was essentially acting as a phone uh, to send those text messages out to users. The issue with that was, A, it was expensive, you had to buy additional hardware, software, licensing to make this happen, um, and labor involved because it was relatively complicated to get set up. You didn't use existing uh, features like the um, alarm service and email recipients and things like that to, to make that happen. So we have a better answer now. This has been around for a little while, um, but we've seen this issue come up a lot recently. Um, so we wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. So all of the major cell carriers uh, provide a gateway of some form for getting emails to their users uh, via SMS or MMS. SMS being traditional text messaging, it's limited to a certain number of characters. I think it's about 140 characters. MMS allows you to do uh, attachments, images, uh, and there's no character limitation. So that's the the direction we tend to want to go, and we'll talk about that a little bit here in the next slide. Uh, good things about this are it's completely free. The cell providers uh, give this to you and their users free of charge because it's not so much an issue anymore, but back in the day, you had to pay per text that you received so they would make money on that. Um, it's easy to set up. All you're doing is changing an email address in your email recipient in your normal alarm console setup uh, to send this text message out. And it can also be done at a JACE or a supervisor, unlike the previous iteration, which was sort of limited to the JACE side of things. So, like I said, the gateways um, that are provided, they're carrier dependent, which means you need to know the carrier that the user has for their cell phone. If you don't know the carrier, Really nice little tool here is this freecarrierlookup.com. You plug in a phone number and it'll tell you, A, if it's a cellular number. Obviously, these need to be cellular. You can't send a text message to a landline. Um, and it'll give you the email address to send to that uh, phone number. So over here we have the major ones that you'll most likely run across. Uh, and the SMS and the MMS versions of the email addresses. So we're going to tend to want to lean towards this MMS side of things uh, just because you may run into issues here depending on uh, how much text you're trying to push across. Uh, so if you use the MMS, you won't run into that. And one thing I also like to state is that test this before you put it into a station. You can pull it up in uh, Outlook or your email client of choice, throw in the email address that you think will work, and if your user or yourself, for testing cases, uh, gets the text message with the information, then you're good to go. Uh, the nice thing, too, is that the uh, sender will show up on your phone as the email address that it's coming from that you've got set up in your uh in your station as the outgoing account. So you could set up a uh, contact in your end user's phones to say, you know, this is my station at such and such site. So now we're going to pop into Niagara and take a look at setting this up. All right, so we're in Niagara now, and we can see I've got a little bit of a test set up here. I've got an alarm class specifically made for this so I can send just my alarms to it. 
and I've got a alarm test point here, which has a Boolean change of state alarm on it, and all it's doing is alarming when the point itself goes to true. So all we need to do in order to send out an email when that, or excuse me, when we want to send out a text from that alarm is to go into our email palette and choose an email recipient. And we'll open up that email recipient. And in our to field, we're just going to put in that address specifically for our user. And we're going to make sure that we choose the correct email account. We'll hit save. We'll link up our test point to the email recipient. Excuse me. We'll link up our um, alarm class to the email recipient. And put the point into alarm. We're in alarm and give it a second here and we see on my phone that the alarm comes through and there it is. So you can see the first line of the alarm is our uh, subject. So if you wanted to change that, it, you can see in iOS it bolds that line so you could make that specifically uh, a specific kind of piece of information that you may need. Um, yeah, and that's that. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got new videos coming out um, pretty regularly now. Um, and thanks for watching.